It's a beautiful thing about being a homemaker and that is making things the way that you want them to be and loving on the home, getting new thrifted items and new items to make your home lovely. Another light rain had fallen the night before, dropping many rose petals onto the ground. Many of my flowers are blossoming and blooming, creating just such a beautiful cottage style garden. And I am loving the peonies, which are now dead and gone, but it is such a beautiful scene. Getting breakfast ready for the family and just doing the homemaker life is what I love and getting things done. So making a list for the day of what I would like to get done on this beautiful stationery by my friend, Jamie, who has Grace and Peace Co. I did a video with her before and you can check her out on Instagram or she also has a shop on Etsy, beautiful stationery cards, all of the above. Anyways, it is time to make an apple rhubarb crisp. My crisp recipe is over on my blog, not this one. I have an apple crisp on the blog, but I had apples that needed to be used up from the freezer and rhubarb that is in season. So I am making a special treat to be enjoyed by friends and by all who come over to eat it. I think I like a crisp because it's got such a crumbly top and not like a cobbler because it has that crumble top like I said and just with that fruit that crumb topping with some whipped cream or ice cream it is just a delicious treat and it can be done with any fruit that is done in any season you can mix berries you can do just rhubarb strawberry rhubarb whatever you want to make this delicious crisp work for you My piece with a little bit of homemade whipped cream. So now to some organizing and decluttering as a homemaker. So this is my spice cabinet and I've had these jars for many, many years. I saw another YouTuber who used these and they said they really liked them and so I got them and they worked okay. They're small, they're flip top. The flip top often comes open and off. Um, when you pour out the seasonings, often a clump will fall out because it doesn't have the shaker top. So I ordered some beautiful new spice jars that I am loving. And these ones then will just be donated to someone else who might like to use them. So anyways, I am taking out the jars out of my spice cupboard and decluttering a few things that I don't need and going to clean it out because I have, like I said, these beautiful jars that I ordered from Amazon. They are clear glass, they have the pour spout, the wooden top, and multiple different labels that you can choose from. I chose the probably vintage looking one just because that's my style, but like I said, you can see here, there are so many different options for you to pick. There's always something so fun about making a space more functional and beautiful. The spice cabinet did function. It was okay, but it is now super functional. My husband enjoys these better, so it's beautiful at the same time in my cabinet, which I am all for. So I'll link these spice jars in the description box if you're interested in getting these beautiful, beautiful jars and making everything, even though it's a closed door, look lovely in a home. moving outside and I have all my little helpers with me because we are putting in the last of my garden produce the sweet potato slips so these 
are something I love having in my garden. I love sweet potatoes for the nutrition and they're just so fun to watch mine and just grow because they really grow from barely anything to just these huge potato vines. Like I said, it had rained a little bit the night before, so the ground was perfect for planting. And all my kids, like I said, enjoyed getting their hands dirty and helping out. particular day I needed to get some overripe bananas used and so why not use this banana bread recipe that I love. It was given to me by my mom. Super simple recipe again over on the blog but I thought I need to use these up and my kiddos love a good sweet bread and so I thought I'm gonna use these up and make them a delicious bread along with I made an extra for a family who um had a parent who had some surgery. So I thought, let's use these up and get going on making some bread. I'm making up my all-purpose cleaner and I will have that over on the blog for you so you can get the exact ratios, but it is very simple. It is one part to one part water and vinegar, or I use lemon essential oil drops, probably 16 to 20. So in this glass jar, it's about one cup of each and then like I said, 16 to 20 drops of essential oil. And it works on almost everything because I use it on my table, on my floor, on my chairs, on any surface, on my walls, on my um, my counters or butcher blocks. So not really on my counter to cops, but just all over the place. And as you can see, I will be using them today to clean my new chairs. I finally found some vintage chairs that I am loving. I found them on Marketplace, of course, and they are just, I think, my style. A beautiful accent to this table. The legs of the chairs and the table really fit pretty well together. They match. The wood tones fit quite well. The backs of the chairs are tall enough that my husband doesn't feel like they are too short for him. Um, they're just a beautiful chair and I found them for a steal. I had been looking, I think for almost a year. So this is fun to have found something that was affordable and beautiful, vintage, got them from an older couple who was downsizing and they had had them for so long. So I'm just taking time to maintain them, to clean them because something old has turned my kitchen into something more beautiful for me and I'm so excited to have found these lovely chairs to add to my kitchen table and I love looking at them they are pretty comfortable and sturdy and so using my all-purpose cleaner to clean them and little spots on the floor of course where little ones drop food and eat <laughs> So since I was already down low in the kitchen and cleaning, I thought I'm gonna take five minutes to wipe out underneath my sink. And yes, the edge of my kitchen cabinet doors need a little touch me up, but hey, that is how it is sometimes where we don't always get to that, but it's okay. It's still a functioning kitchen and I can do some cleaning instead of painting. So I'm just cleaning out underneath, wiping all the extra gunk that gets stuck under there. Some old jars that I had saved because I use old jars to put grease in um, and just getting things reorganized. Even the dirtiest and grimiest places like under the kitchen sink can be turned lovely by just a little bit of cleaning, decluttering, and reorganizing and it just makes a more functional space for the home.
Now to the fun part. Since the cleaning is done, I am going to add some lovely flowers to my table to accent the chairs. And these, of course, are picked from my beautiful garden that I enjoy all summer long because why not bring the outdoors in and just make the space a place that I love looking at. I'm in the kitchen a lot. We do a lot at our table since we live in a small home. And so I wanted to add just some extra color, extra beauty, extra life to my already active and lovely home with my three kids, my husband, our dog, and just the home that I have created that God has blessed me with. And so I want to just bring in some beauty as well with some fresh flowers. So something baked, something new, something old turned beautiful with some fresh created flowers by the Lord. Blessing my table is what I have for today. Hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk with you in the next one.